Hi everyone, thank you for joining our equine live q and I'm going to now hand it over to our lovely lecturers to answer any of your questions. Hi, I'm Jo. I am the um, course manager for the level threes this year. Um, so please ask any questions that you've got. Um, we've also got Alex with us, who's going to introduce herself. Hi, I'm Alex. I am also one of the um, equine lecturers. Um, I am the course tutor this year for the second year level threes and also um, for the degree students. So we look forward to any questions you might have. If we haven't got any questions at the moment, what are the entry requirements? OK, good question. Let me share with you um, my progress map and I'll be able to talk you through that. Um, so hopefully you can see here, this is our progress map. So this shows you all of the modules and all of our um, information basically about the um, equine courses. So to get onto the level two diploma in horse care, we need four GCSEs at a D or a three, including English, maths and science. And to get straight onto our level three foundation diploma, you need five GCSEs at level four to nine, including English, maths and science. OK, was it an FE course that you were um, requesting about or a HE course? Our HE courses, I'll talk about those as well. Our HE <laughs> courses are, um, they need 72 UCAS points, so it depends on what route you're taking and where you want to go. Um, yes, we do need to buy a uniform. Let me share a different screen with you. So this is our kit list. No, that's not our kit list. Um, this is our kit list. That I can show you. So I've got it quite zoomed out at the moment, but this will highlight everything and we can pop this in the chat for you um, to have a read. This will highlight everything that you need. So a hat at the PS015 um, standard and a hat silk, a back protector, and then your usual things whilst riding. So jumpers, boots, um, making sure that we have everything on here. So you'd get sent this beforehand. Some things are optional for. Um, level two but compulsory for level three so for example pulling kit comb a plaiting kit that is needed for the level three course um, and the other bits are not needed on the level three okay fantastic harriet are you thinking of joining us on the fe course that's brilliant are you a level two or level three So does the level three then allow you to go on to equine veterinary? No, unfortunately not. You need to have a look at our animal care courses. That would be the science side and then you'd be able to progress on to um, a veterinary science degree or a uh, veterinary science degree. Um, but you wouldn't be able to take that, that progression from us. To go into equine veterinary, you need to be able to um, do animal care as a general, as a whole, and then go on to the equine just following on from what Joe said there as well, um, as part of your course, you have to complete work experience as well. So if it was equine that you wanted to um, specialise in, for example, you could do the animal care course that would then um, help you get onto the um, equine veterinary course. But then you could do your work experience, some of it or all of it um, with equine as well. Um, with regard to a level one equine course, no, unfortunately not. We don't offer a level one entire equine course. I believe, and please Chair, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe in our foundation course, there are some equine modules that there used to be, it might have changed this year, um, just due to crossing over of campuses. But I believe that our, um, our foundation course covers some equine. If you've done our level uh, foundation course with some equine modules, depending on what, and what grades you get from that, you could then come on to our level two course after that. So that might be a progression that you could um, have a look into. Um. With regards, we've had someone ask about transport as well. Um, I believe we do have transport from um, Harbour area. Um, we can pop that into the chat for you, a link um, to our transport team, um, and they can give you some advice on that. So that's no problem at all. Um, course, generally we start our courses in September. Um, so yeah, there will be September time. 
uh, when our courses would start. So that's for um, FE courses, so your level two and your level three, and also our um, HE courses, so our degree as well. OK. Um, and we've got another question here about if you can go on to the level two equine from the level one animal care. Yes, absolutely. As long as you have those um, entry requirements for the level two, um, that's not a problem. We do have students who progress up from the level one. Somebody's also asked what our biggest horse is at the moment. Our biggest horse is 17.3. I think he's called Mikey. Um, I think he's 17.3, isn't he, Alex? He's uh, got very long legs. Yes, I believe so. He is very large. So, yes. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got we've got a couple of horses. Tiptoes about 17.2. Um, so have a follow of our Instagram page. We can pop the link into the chat. Um, you get to see lots of our horses and what they're getting up to and I try and post as much fun stuff as possible. So um, yeah, get involved on the Instagram page. Um, so what job routes are there following the level three, please? OK, so let me bring up this progress map again for us to have a look at. Um, under each of our um, courses, you can see this yellow, yellowy area. Maybe it looks yellow, a bit orange. Um, that is our career options afterwards. OK, so our level three foundation diploma, this is only the first year. Once you've got a pass for the first year, you come to this right hand side and you go on to the um, extended diploma, which would be your year two. And again, we've got some career options under here. So I don't know whether you can see this very well. We've got groom going on to um, a level two or a level three apprenticeship. You could go on to university after here because you get enough UCAS points to come on to our FDSC Equine Performance Science course. You could go on to become a coach or take some extra qualifications to be a VHS instructor, um, marketing promotion, events coordinator. We've got some students that have gone on into nutrition, uh, rehabilitation, uh, breeding and stud work. So it sort of depends on what option, where, where you would like to go. And we can try and make sure that we're pointing you in the right direction. Um, and giving you the best options. If you did decide to go on to university and complete our degree course, again, we've got some job options down here, okay? Um, and leading on to our um, final year degree, and then we've got some more jobs down here. So hopefully you can see that. Again, we can post this for you to have a look at. It is on our Instagram page, but it was posted a little while ago, so you might need to um, go back a little bit, but that's fine. You can have a look at all the horses on the way. Um, uh, yeah, we've had a, another message um, here about the modules for the equine performance science degree. So, Joe, do you mind just popping yeah. that back on the screen? Thank you. Um, so if you have a look in the blue box here in the middle, um, this has got some of our modules. Well, it's got all of our modules, sorry, for the foundation degree. Um, so with the foundation degree, you do have some practical modules um, as well as your theory modules. So um, it's split into two years. So within your first year, and um, you have got the practical skills um, for the equine industry module, um, a business module and then also anatomy and physiology. Um, you also look at behaviours. So there's a real mix of modules for the first year of the degree. Um, so, you know, it's a really interesting um, course, lots of different elements within it. Um, within the second year of the FDSC, again, you've got um, a practical management of the performance horse. Um, so that is looking at um, you know, how we manage performance horses and things like that, looking at uh, ruling in different disciplines. Um, and then another business module. Um, so, you know, it has a variety of modules to prepare you for, um, you know, whatever career prospects you're hoping to go into, lots of transferable skills um, with those as well. Um, so, yeah, that's the foundation degree. So it's not that there's a choice of um, that you choose which modules you do. You take part in all of those modules, um, but we can obviously give you more or less information depending on if you want to go down a therapy and rehabilitation um, route, then you can absolutely get the most of the information out of us as possible. So please use us as, as kind of your experts and make the most of, of everything that you can get out of us, basically. Marched you with us. Also, um, with the industry experience, you'd, you have um, work placement to do as well. So it gives you a great opportunity to, um, you know, go out in the industry um, and experience, you know, what it's actually like and things like that. So 
yes, that's the foundation degree. Um, we've got another message about how many horses do we have? Joe might know a little bit more about this than me. Um, um, OK, so I think we've got around 25 horses at the moment. We are looking for some more working livery horses. So if anybody is thinking that they could bring their own horse as long as they are um, suitable, they'd go through a trial period before coming to us and they'd be used by the college and by the other students. But yeah, we've got around 25 horses at the moment, I think. Um, so again, have a look if you want to meet some of the horses. I believe on your virtual um, open day page today, there's um, a few videos from me and Alex in the summer where you can um, meet some of the horses and we're looking nice and summery in t-shirts and it's not literally like it is raining right now. So, a bit of a throwback to the summer and meet some of our horses. Um, okay, we've got a student that's doing a level two animal care. Um, can you join equine level two? That's absolutely fine. Yes, of course you can join the um, equine level two from the animal care level two. Okay. If you're coming from another course, then absolutely you would just continue your maths with us. So even though you, you're not sure whether you'll get the grade, I mean, it's early days in the year. Be positive. You're going to do amazingly once you've done all your revision and go through your exams. So, um, yeah, but you, you'd be absolutely fine with those entry requirements. If you've come from the Animal Care Level 2, you just retake your maths with us and still continue. Uh, what does equine mean? Horses, everything horses. Equine is uh, everything horses. Okay. Um, I'd like to apply for the level two course, but I'm worried about my exam results. OK, so still apply um, for the level two course. Definitely get your applications in. So don't worry. We are obviously very aware of the fact that we've had kind of six months without having proper um, education in, in school with the lockdown measures and things like that. Hence, we're all sat at home doing a QA and meeting us face to face. Um, so absolutely don't worry. Please still apply and we will um, talk you through and support you in any which way we can. Um, uh there, there there will be obviously support from your school and things like that and whether it means that we put you on a slightly different pathway to come back to you. um so if you didn't get the grades and you went on to the foundation or the level one course first and then came back to us for the level two then that'd be absolutely fine um so don't don't worry and we are obviously very aware of we're putting as much support in place for our students this year to make sure we're the staff, making the things possible so hopefully your school's doing the same and then you'll be ready to come to us on the level two. Again, positivity. You've got loads of time. We're in October, nearly in November. You've got all the way until June um, to work on those grades. So if you if you put in the hours in. Okay. Just looking, we've got a question about um, the BHS. Um, so currently at the minute we are working alongside the BHS, um, obviously with COVID restrictions um, and things like that. Um, at the minute, we do have some online um, sessions for BHS, or they will be running shortly. And we have um, one of our platforms that we use, Moodle, which means that students can log on and they can see um, some um, assessments and um, work that we've set up for students that they can complete and videos and, you know, they can get the information across and task sets and things like that. Um, obviously, with COVID, we are hoping they are still running exams, um, but they are more the theory side. Um, I think they're trying to get um, some riding assessments in as well. So with that, it is um, very much we're waiting to, you know, like I said, working alongside the BHS, we're waiting to see um, when we can get those exams going um, and get get students through those stages and things like that. OK, um, we've also got another question about um, how you get how you can get into equine therapy so um with our level three course and our um degree course as well we do have a rehabilitation and therapy module um so with those it does give you the experience it gives you some knowledge and insight into rehab if you continue for example the level three onto the degree like i said there is a module on the degree um or after the level three you can go and do a degree at another organisation and um, specifically in rehab so that could be something that you consider but a level three course definitely does you know like I said it has that um, unit where it gives you the experience um, and some insight into it. 
Um, somebody's asked whether you can apply straight to the level three. Yes, absolutely you can, as long as you get your entry requirements. So let me show you this progress map. The entry requirements for the level three are five GCSEs at level four to nine. Um, so yes, absolutely, you can apply straight for the level three. If you have an absolute mare, which obviously you're not going to, you've got loads of time, you're going to do amazingly in your GCSEs, but if everything goes wrong, we can have a look at dropping you to the level two for a year and then putting you on to the level three. But yes, absolutely, if you're confident and you're happy with your grades, then apply straight for the level three, especially if that's the course that you want to be doing, then apply for the level three first. Um, we've uh, asked about industry experience for the foundation degree or the work experience. There's 100 hours over the year, um, which may sound daunting to start off with. It's not at all when you, you can fit 40 hours in a week during a half term. Um, so yes, 100 hours over the whole year. And yes, absolutely choose where you go. We encourage you to set up that industry link and that connection. And it, we really want it to be um, a, a, a Sort of a career progression route that you want to go into. Um, if you're wanting to go into stud work then we've got connections and we can put you in the right place to go and go and work on a stud yard. If you're wanting to go into rehabilitation for example it might not be that you go and work at a riding school so we definitely prefer that you, you choose where you go. Um, we've had a question asking if we have any donkeys. Um, we don't have any donkeys um, but we do have some goats um, and other various animals within the animal care department um, but no sorry no donkeys <laughs> so just whilst we're waiting for any other questions to come through um i've got some of the equine kit on at the moment um you can have a look at our kit list we'll post it alex has got hers on as well um so bmc it says that we're in the equine team yours you can either have your name put on it you can say what course you're on um it's absolutely fantastic it keeps them out our yard is quite cold, so um, we need to make sure that we're dressing as well as possible to stay as warm as possible. Um, also, just having a chat. Oh, we've got some other questions. Can we apply through school careers advisors? Um, absolutely, I'm sure that they can help you. If the school's got um, certain things in place to help you apply, then yes, um, yeah, get your school to help you. Absolutely. Um, the, the applications are online, so if you've got a career advisor that can help you fill in that application and help you write your personal statement, then yes, absolutely, that sounds good. Um, how many hours a week would I be on campus? Lily, if you're asking about the, um, the degree, generally our courses are in for two and a half days a week. At the moment this year it's slightly different. There is some remote learning and some face-to-face -face, um, learning, so it's all dependent on how we end up kickstarting next year, but generally it's um, around two and a half days that you'd be in and a full day is five hours of teaching. So um, the school day runs, school day, college day, um, runs from half past nine till half past four. No, you absolutely don't have to have your own horse. That's why we've got all of our lovely horses for you guys to borrow. Um, so no, you don't have to have your own horse. Not in the slightest. We were just saying we've got around 25 horses on the yard. Um, we've got a mixture of sizes, breeds, heights, weights and abilities. So some of them are um, more jumping horses. Some of them are more flat horses, depending what they prefer and what's best for them. Um, so yeah, that we've got such a range of like retired eventers and some younger horses coming through. So it's a really lovely mix and you get to ride a variety and learn on, on such a range of horses. It's fantastic for your riding ability and for your horse handling, um, learning to handle lots of different types of personalities and things because they've each got their own little personalities. Again, go to our Instagram page to see some of the pictures <laughs> and the videos that I put up. Slightly obsessed with the Instagram page. <laughs> just following on from what Joe said there as well we have um such a variety of students that come as well so um you know if it if you've um come from having week lessons at a riding school or whether you have a uh, competitive you know you're out competing um you know it's great for to have a variety of students come together share experiences and, and knowledge and things like that so so yeah like I said we do have a, a variety of um student backgrounds that come come on our courses um, we've 
got asked about how many hours a week is the level two course, please. Um, I believe this is three days. Jo might be able to clarify this. Yeah, she's nodding. So, yeah. yes, uh, the level two is three days. Um, and again, this is mixed um, between practical and theory sessions as well. So level two course, you do spend quite a lot of time on the yard um, as, and then also some, some time in the classroom as well. So just expanding on that a little bit, in your level two timetable, you will have your English and maths integrated into your timetable. So in those three days that you're in, um, that would include some of your English and maths sessions if you're needing to do them. Um, so don't worry that you've got to come in for extra days for that. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, so we've got a riding and a non-riding option on all of our courses. So that means that if you are a non-rider, um, then you do our ground schooling course, which is absolutely fantastic for your employability and when you go to go and work for people in the industry, because um, you can lunge from the floor and that we know that you're um, capable of still exercising the horses, even if your riding ability isn't of a competitive nature. Um, we do do ride assessments, for all of our courses. Um, so that will involve a walk truck canter and going over a small fence. So again, we can put up some information on that. I don't think I've got anything to hand that I can um, show you right now, but we generally, when you come for interview, we'll give you that paperwork so you know what to expect. And then you can take that to your instructors and practice um, before you come for your ride assessments. Okay. We've had another question about, uh, I think it's coming on from the equine therapy. Um, and I think you're meaning with children, young people. So we have had um, students before who have done their work placements um, at therapy centres that help with, um, you know, young people with special needs and disabilities and things like that. So that, um, you know, you can gain your experience through your work experience doing that. We also in the second year have um, a teaching and coaching module as well, um, where we look at teaching um, children and looking at vulnerable children, vulnerable adults. Um, so it may be that you, if you progress on to the second year, that that's something you consider. Um, because as Joe was saying, you can pick the riding option or the non-ridden option. As long as you're passing a riding assessment, then um, the teaching and coaching module sits on the riding option. OK. Um, we've had another question about the diploma class sizes. So this year um, we have um, had a very um, high uptake of level threes. And um, so we have at the moment we have two classes of level threes um, with around 25 students in each. Um, probably actually not quite as many as that. But yeah, but nearly around. I think we've got 21, 25 in the other. So, yeah. And but for your practicals and your riding sessions, you split into groups of eight. So the ride sessions will be no more than eight people, if if not less. And then um, for your practicals, generally there's around 16 people. So we put two of the smaller groups together for your practicals. Um, so as much as we've got bigger sizes this year, the level level two, we've got around 25 students um, in the class, but it'd be around 25 students maximum in a classroom. <clears throat> How many hours would the level three course be? So currently our students for level three are in for two days. Uh, they also have a remote day at home um, and there may be some English and maths on top of that. So it depends on, um, but if you've got your entry requirements for English and maths then you wouldn't need to come in for an extra day for English and maths. Um, because of how, how COVID and how our time is being handled this year, we've got a remote day for our level threes and then two days where they come in for their practical studies. Um, somebody has also asked, can we do the animal care level three and equine level two at the same time? No, unfortunately not. They're, they're full time courses. Um, so we'd need you to do one and then the other or, or however you'd want to manage it, whether you want to finish your level three um, with animal care first and then come to us for the um, equine level two. But you wouldn't be able to do them both at the same time. It would be also massively unfair. You wouldn't have any time to sleep. Definitely. <laughs> Um, what happens if you don't get a three in biology? Is this for the level two? Um, if you've got three, um, let me just check. If you've got four threes, ideally it needs to be in English, maths, and science. Um, if you haven't, then that's something that we can discuss on an individual basis. Um, if you're the, the level three, if you're asking about the level three, is very heavily science based on one module and there is an exam at the end of it for your structure, form and function module. So if you've not got the entry requirements, you are going to struggle. So it wouldn't be fair to put you onto the level three if you've not got that biology grade. So we might say that you go onto the level two first 
and then um, build on your biology knowledge and make sure that the, the foundation knowledge is absolute sound before you then go on to the level three. Okay. Um, how many students get accepted onto the foundation degree? Um, Alex? So, Alex, yeah, with the foundation degree, we generally have um, smaller class sizes for the um, degree. Um, this, you know, it's similar to what Joe was talking about. We work in um, eights for courses. So, um, you know, it wouldn't necessarily be an issue. Like I said, we do generally have um, smaller classes. So, um, we would be looking at for um, being accepted onto the foundation group, be looking at your um, UCAS points and your entry requirements. Um, it may be that we also look at previous experience that you have with horses and things like that. So it's it's that that we're looking at more than sort of the, the amount of students that we're, we're able to cater for. Okay. OK, everyone, that is the end of the session. If you have any further questions, please email courseinquiries at brooksbymelton.ac.uk. You can also apply now directly on our website, which is www.brooksbymelton.ac.uk. We'd like to thank Joe and Alex for joining and thank you to everyone for joining our live Q&A today. Enjoy the rest of our virtual open day and we hope to see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>